this week I'm at MIT for a conference on this really interesting conjecture, which is actually a theorem, but we sometimes still call it the Mordell conjecture. What we call the Mordell conjecture is actually a theorem. It was proved by Foltings in 1983, and Foltings was actually a Fields medalist, and he gave the very first talk in this conference. And what the conjecture says is that there is this amazing relationship between the geometry of curves and how many rational points they can have. So if you take a curve like x squared plus y squared equals 1, you can consider it over the rational numbers and try to find points. That's just a circle of radius 1, and there are infinitely many points. But you can consider that same curve over the complex numbers, and over the complex numbers is a complex manifold. And then you can look at the structure of the manifold. In this case, it's a sphere. It has no holes. And the number of holes is an invariant that we call the genus. And the genus determines how many points you can have over the rational numbers. In the case of x squared plus y squared equals 1, that is a genus 0 curve, no holes. It's a complex manifold. So it can actually have no points over the rational numbers or infinitely many points. In that case, that curve does have infinitely many points. If you go up by 1 in genus, so if you take what we call an elliptic curve, something like y squared equals x cubed plus 1, that has finitely many points, uh, y squared equals x cubed plus uh, or minus 2, say, that has infinitely many points, but uh, there are other curves of genus 1 that have no points. So you can have, in genus 1, you can have no points, finitely many points, or infinitely many points. And now if you take a curve that has genus 2 or greater, what Mordell conjecture and Foltings proved, is that you always have finitely many points or no points. You cannot have infinitely many points. So for example, a curve like y squared equals x to the 6 plus x squared plus 1, that is genus 2. And no matter what, it can only have finitely many points. And for that one, we actually know the points. But uh, in general, finding the point is very hard, so what this uh, conference is about is about generalizations of Mordell and more work towards actually determining how many points are there on any given curve of genus 2 or greater.